Hey, I want to address a uh, situation that uh, is a war story combined with what can happen with you. Uh, yesterday, I am doing my research about uh, other channels and car flipping and things, and the subject of uh, skipping titles came up. It was referred to as floating titles, but it's actually the terminology is skipping titles and it's highly illegal and uh, so when guys are talking about skipping titles and uh, how to approach customers and get them not to endorse the back of the title uh, that's very risky uh, I learned that lesson believe it or not when I was a puppy at a mere uh, 15 years old, my dad uh, was flipping cars. He was a body man flipping cars, and all of them were uh, open title cars. And by open, the, the previous owner did not assign those titles over. And so uh, he would leave them blank for the new purchaser, and literally, literally there was never any proof that my dad ever owned the car. Uh, so one day... My uh, dad's out there in, in in our front yard, and he had a car sitting in the front yard, is which he did just about all the time. And a man stopped by to look at the car and and uh, pretended to be interested in the car. Well, actually, he was interested in the car; it wasn't pretending at all. But he had uh, a reason for being interested in the car. So my dad's got to talking to him about the car. And uh, the gentleman asked about it, uh, about the title to the car. And my dad actually showed him the title of the car where it was open and he could reassign it. Turns out the guy happened to be an inspector for the state and bam, my dad was busted. Uh, he was fined on the spot for that. As a matter of fact, the guy had him go back and recall uh, all the information uh, on cars, the other cars, and so uh, it happens that this guy had recorded the VIN numbers of every car my dad had put out there for several months. He had actually been scouting him out, and he went back and wanted to find him for every car. And the only way that my dad could get out of the pressure of this guy was literally to open up a car lot and guess who he put in charge of that car lot, car lot? Uh, his 16-year-old uh, uh, son. So uh, it was a very uh, awakening experience for him at that time. And now there's easy ways that they can catch you flipping cars. Uh, we'll go into that on another video, but I'm going to warn you guys don't go crying to anybody else if you get caught once. Now, you may sell a thousand cars and never get caught flipping or skipping titles. But when you sell one, it's going to be as if uh, you wished you had never gone there. So uh, it is very strongly recommended. Do not skip titles. And the good thing is that with our program here at Reward Auto Group, there's no need to skip titles because you don't have to pay any title processing fees and you don't have to uh, assign or register these vehicles. So this is a, just another benefit of having a car dealer's license that you break away from having to skip titles. Anyway, I wanted to bring that to you and look forward to working with you soon, I hope. Good luck.